Hi Bulls and Masters, welcome back to my channel. Remember that my videos are not made for kids and they're solely for the adult collector or for the adults who want to buy these products for their kids. All right, everyone, welcome to part five of my Revisiting Monster High series. Today we have some very, very top tier, very exciting characters to talk about and let's get into it because I'm so excited. We just have to begin. First off, we're gonna start with probably my least favorite one of this episode, and it is Miss Sylvie Timberwolf. She's still very cute, but you know, she's a reboot doll, so you can't really expect much from a reboot doll. Here's Miss Sylvie Timberwolf. She is on a Ghoulia body because this is Ghoulia's body. Ghoulia has her body because I wanted Ghoulia to have a better body. She did originate from the Monster High Electrified movie. Her face, of course, is very flat. She's still very cute, though. She's the daughter, I think, of a werewolf, another werewolf doll. I did like her gray skin color. You know, I did like her ears. Her ears actually have fur, which is very nice, or like molded on fur that I wish the Claudine would have had. I like the detail. So this line was very 80s inspired with like crimped hair and the neon. So it, that's why she has all of that in here. I love the blue. And I do love the highlights of that. Of that neon pink and yellow. She has a cute little cuff up here. A nice little collar. Very plasticky though. The outfit's all one piece. Very cheap. But you know, very simple. I do like the print of the wolves that are neon on her. Then her heels are pretty nice. Wish they had more color. But you know, they're very simple. I could not tell you anything about her personality. I think she was like a musician in the movie. I, I don't remember. I blocked out that movie from my memory, but that's what she's doing here. Um, let's move on to characters that actually were important. All right, everyone. Next up, we have Miss Luna Matthews, who came in a three pack with the Monster High new students from the movie Boo York, Boo York, one of the best Monster High movies. It is a musical, and that movie is phenomenal. I love everything about it. It's very it's, I love the music. The music is so good. And I feel like you could listen to it and not watch the movie and it'd still be very good. So these characters never came into the Monster High school because they were solely in Boo York. They had aspirations and dreams there that they had to fulfill in Boo York. So that's why they never came to Monster High. So when the ghouls visited Boo York, that's where they met these characters. And this is Miss Luna Matthews. She's the daughter of a moth and her dream was to be on Bloodway. So of course she's iconic and she was a goth moth so the black lipstick makes sense and the dark makeup her eyes have like beehive looking stuff on it i love her bangs on this one i do prefer prefer her than the other doll because the other dolls had like a weird shiny skin and these have like a more matte skin that i liked more she has cute little antennas i love her pigtails and her hair is red and black i love that so much I love her ears, they're very pointy and moth-like. Look at that. She doesn't have earrings, but you can give her earrings if you want. She has wings on her back and they're very moth-like. I love her hands and she has very insect-like body parts, like the prints and everything on there are very insect-like. She has this shawl, which was from her original doll. Then this dress is one of my favorite Monster High dresses. It's simple, I know, but I love it so much. It's just like the Boo York skyline with like a little moon and stars and it's a gradient from like black to red. Then her whole body is insect-like. I'm not kidding y'all. Her whole body is insect. How amazing is that? She has so many details and everything on her. I adore her. She's so unique and she's such a cute doll. These shoes are from an Ever After High doll. We're not gonna talk about them. She's an incredible doll. She had an incredible little story in the movie. She sang, I'm pretty sure, in the movie. She just wanted to be in Bloodway, you know? Achieve her dream. All right, everyone. Next up, we have my favorite of the new ones that were introduced in the Boo York movie, and that's Miss Mercedes King. She is one of the cutest Monster High dolls ever. Pretty sure she's the daughter of the Rat King. So she was the know-it-all of Boo York. She knew everything. She knows everyone. She was very bougie. She had that money, you know, she had that coin. She just knew how to get her way around Boo York. This particular doll is my favorite. This is why I got the three pack, mainly because of her and this outfit. And I never got her original doll with the dress because I didn't like how she was shiny. This one, so cute. I love her face. She has a little 
rat teeth, mouse teeth right there, bug teeth. I love the little whisker dots. Her makeup is so cute. Her eyes are looking in two different directions, but she's looking two different directions because that's how mice are. She has cute little mouse ears, adorable. I love the little headband and she has this like bubblegum pink hair. It's a mess, but you know, I can fix it, but I haven't. But it's still very cute and fluffy. Then for her body, she doesn't have too many details on her body, but she does have fur. I like that and she has little clawed hands. She is on a little sister body, so she's the same height as Halloween and not like your average monster high. She has like a cheese top, you get it, mouse. Then this skirt is so cute. I love the mixture of these colors. It works so well. And this is a fully all around pleated skirt with a very nice triangle design on there. Look at that. It's gorgeous, one of my favorite pieces of clothing. She has a cute little pink tail, rat tail on the back. And she has these cute little like laced up ballerina type shoes with cute bows on the back. I love her and she does have fur on her feet, on her ankles, printed on fur. I love that. Mercedes was one of my favorites in the movie. She was so adorable. She, I feel, they should have used her more. And I wish she did come back to Monster Hive so we could have seen her a bit more, but you know, I appreciate what we got from her. Next up we have another robot in the Monster High world and that is LED, but it's like LED. LED light, y'all get it? Y'all get it? Okay, she's so cool though. She's a, she's very different from Rebecca. She's a more like electronic type of robot as opposed to Rebecca being a very steampunk robot. Look at her eyes, they're like camera lens. She does have a power button in the middle of her face. Her skin is all robot-like. Her, her ears are like speakers. And to put an earring in, it's like an outlet. Her hair is gorgeous. It's like a black with pink, with pink, with purple and blue highlights in there. And it's in a pony, very cute. Her hand has that robot technological stuff. It does go around her whole body as well. The details don't stop. Look at that, I love her hand. The necklace is very robotic. The dress is very simple. I just don't like the one shoulder, but I do like the dress. Other than that, very robotic. I love this little cardigan, little jacket. But the best thing about this doll, y'all, the best thing about this doll, look at her boots. Hello. These are some of the best Monster High shoes in history. They have a platform that is connected by like cylinder plastic. Do you see these shoes? Hello? These are iconic, the purple color is everything. And again, when you look at her body, like they have indentations in her skin to show that she's a robot. I did appreciate her. I think she was a DJ in the movie. That was like her aspiration, like music DJ. Our next five characters are the Brand Boo students. And these are all transfer students from the Monster Exchange line. These dolls are incredible. They each represent, represent a different culture, a different part of the world, and Monster High's diversity and representation was at its peak right here with these set of dolls. Okay, so the first wave of them were these two characters right here, and Draculaura and Laguna were in it, and they went over, Draculaura went to Japan, and Laguna went to Madrid. Then these characters came over from their culture. So let's talk about them. Here is Lorna McNessy. She is the daughter of the Loch Ness Monster and she's from like Scotland, I'm pretty sure. She had a very Merida-like accent and she's just iconic. This doll, I haven't like changed much from her because again, I wanna keep these dolls, these next five, I wanted to keep them the same. Look at her. She's gorgeous. The skin, that eye. She does have a little sister body, so she's shorter. I love the little barrette right here. Her hair is iconic. I haven't touched it and it still looks good. It's a little messy and ratty, but you know, I love it. I love it. It works. It's a nice orange color and up here it's like a darker orange. I love the curls. The gel is still there and holding that intact. She does have finned ears. Look at this earring, y'all. It wraps around her finned ear, and that's how the ear 
looks without an earring. I love her outfit so much. It's a nice little top with little ruffles up top, fishnet, and it's red. This She has this belt that kind of goes over a shoulder and it has that nice print. She has scales all over her body and fins on her arms webbed hands. This is kind of like a kilt skirt and it has Loch Ness monsters on there. Then she has her purse or her bag, her suitcase, which has some nice printing on there. She has a tail, look at that, with several different fins on there and multiple paint. I love her legs, more fins, and her shoes are, look, they're like little brick walkways. I love that so much, or brick walls. They're so cute. She's an iconic doll. I love her so much. But the next one is one of my favorite Monster High dolls ever. I still do adore her a lot. She's iconic, but I, I prefer this one. This is Marisol Coxie, and she is from Buru, which is Peru, but she's from Buru, and she's our Latina Hispanic queen. She is the cousin of Abby Bominable, daughter of the Yeti. Y'all remember Abby, Miss Icy? Marisol was the daughter of Bigfoot. Why? Y'all, I'll show you her feet, y'all. It is bigger than any Monster High doll. But here is Marisol. She has a lot of Peruvian accents to her and her detail. I love her very sweet face. She has a cute little hat right here in a lime green. Her hair is this beautiful color. She's so sweet. She has like the little dimples. Y'all, she's so cute. I love her like bushy brows. Then we go on to her outfit. She has this cute jacket that has feet on there in a very Peruvian like pattern. Her dress is iconic. The top is just pink, but we go into here and she has a skirt that's connected to the top. And it's very, you know, very Latin like, and I love that. Then her arms are very furry and they're humongous clawed hands. And then we go on to her, we start going down to her feet and her ankles have molded on fur, but look at how huge her feet are. This is what a Monster High foot looks like. This is what a regular Monster High foot looks like and this is her feet, y'all. They literally made her feet huge. Again, how iconic is that? And her feet like, her toes tip over the shoe because her feet are so big. I love them so much and they have like little claws on them. I wish they painted the nails. I wish they painted the nails, but you know, they're cute. I love this. And the shoes have little tassels on them that are painted differently and they have little monster faces on there. Look at the little angry faces. Y'all see that? But the, the detail doesn't stop there. If you always gotta look under the monster eye shoes. There's little Bigfoot feet on there. So you know how Bigfoot always leaves like an imprint? These are the imprints, y'all. I love Marisol so much. And Monster High did have a lot of Hispanic characters. And I love that representation because I loved the Hispanic characters. They were always like my favorites. So I'm glad she's here because she's iconic. Next up is they did create a second wave of the Monster Exchange line, but none of the mo our Monster Core characters transferred from transferred in this line, but we did get three new characters in this line. These are some of the most heavily sought after Monster High dolls. I could tell why, because they're so iconic and some of my favorites as well. So this is Kirti Trollsen. I did look her up and she is from Gorway, Norway, but in Monster High world, it's Gorway. Y'all, she's the daughter of a troll. She does have a little sister body and she's adorable. She's a gamer, so you're gonna see a lot of gaming-esque stuff on her outfit. I love this molded on hat that has little Viking horns on it. The glasses are pixelated. Her eyes are pixelated. Look at her ears. She is the daughter of a troll. So her ears are humongous, y'all. How iconic. She has a little Viking pixelated monster skulls on her ears for earrings. It's also on her top with some pixels on there as well. The skirt is pixelated. Her bag is a controller. Then we go on to her shoes, which have molded on socks, but different colors. And the heel is like pixelated. The laces are like wrapped around like a controller. How adorable is she, y'all? 
She wasn't my favorite out of the three, but she's she's so cute. I do love her. And the little nose is bigger than a lot of other characters. So cute. Look at her. Look at that nose. I do love her. I also did look this one up because I want to get these right because these are more important than your usual Monterey characters. So she is from Boo Hexaco and she's the daughter of a deer spirit. So she's very deer inspired. She's so cute. I love her so much. And she's kind of supposed to be like Native American. Look at this doll. Look at the little specks, like the deer dots that she has on her face. Her nose is painted. She has those high brows. Her brown eyes are gorgeous, y'all. Look at deer ears. She does have an earring. She has antlers as a like headband. Then her hair is this teal color and her hair is so long and still very, very silky soft. She has bracelets on her. I love her necklace. Her outfits, iconic, iconic. The bag is a dream catcher. Then the outfit has like these very argyle prints on her. She has a top over a jumpsuit. And I do love the headband because it does have a dream catcher hanging off the side. Adorable. Now let's look at her shoes. Her shoes have ruffles on them. They have nice paint and she has hooves. She has hooves. How cool is that? Like her whole foot is a hoof. Look at that, it's a hoof. They molded specific feet for her. And she was a dancer. She has like that pointy feet. So she's ready to dance. I love the Argyle print on the heel. All right, everyone. Speaking of Hispanic characters that I love, next up is Ms. Batsy Claro. She's the daughter of the sugar bat. She's from Costa Rica. The color of her, let's get into her. Her skin is the softest pink color I have ever seen in my life. It's almost white, but it's not white. It's like a very faint, delicate pink. And her color scheme is this lime green that is beautiful. Her lips are two different tones. She has fangs. I love her sweet, angelic eyes. She has all this printing on her face. It's so cute with a little bat in the center that's red, a headband that's beautiful. Her hair goes into this like white and green fantasy. It's delicious, it's gorgeous. She does have wings. She's the daughter of the sugar bat and look at these wings. Wow, they're incredible. She does have bat ears as well with that echolocation. I love the earrings, very cute. I love her outfit. So it's like a romper, the top is frilly, and then they have this tool hanging from the side that's so cute. Then her shoes are absolutely iconic. Look at these boots. They're like very wrap around, spiky type of heel. Just like I said, very iconic. Just this whole entire line is incredible. The detail that they put into these characters that are from different parts of the world. This is what Monster High needs to come back with. These type of characters, these type of stories that they would tell is what made Monster High so incredibly special. All right, we have three characters left on this part. Next up is Mr. Heath Burns, y'all. More monsters. Monster High had a lot of boy dolls, which is incredible because, you know, the more the merrier. And they were all different and they gave them they gave them specific details and everything. So they only made two Heath dolls in the whole entire Monster High run. This is the second one that I got. My first one is was very dirty, so like I sold him. But this is the one that they made with this carnival doll. He was like very carnival themed, but it's still the same doll. He has like red eyes. I'm pretty sure he's the son of the fire elemental, but he is the cousin of Jackson and Holt. So Jackson, the one that can turn into Holt, yeah, this is their cousin and he knew the secret, their secret. He does have red eyes and he did have a romantic relationship with Abby. I did like him together, yeah. I, I do approve. His outfit's a mixture of both of the dolls. He does have the Monster High Leatherman jacket that's very personalized for him with the flames. I want this Leatherman jacket so bad. They need to make them with this monster to come back. Then this shirt is from the Scarnival doll and it has flames on it, very cute. This pan is from his original doll and these shoes are from the original doll. I do like Heath, he was the goofball. He was the class clown, the one who was always falling and tripping and doing wrong things and breaking stuff, ruining stuff. That was, that's what his character was. Very goofy. I did like him. Sometimes he was really annoying, but you know, you need characters like that 
Next up we have this two pack that came out for Monster High and these are San Diego Comic Con dolls. I'm so glad I own them. I still remember getting them. I remember we went to this comic book store after, because I didn't go to Comic Con. This I would call up this comic book store and they would get the Comic Con dolls and this was my first Comic Con doll set and we went and they had them. They still had sold one of the two packs but I was able to get the other one. I forgot how much I paid for them, maybe like $80. Here is Miss Iris Clops, everyone, the daughter of the Cyclops. She has one eye. You're not going crazy. She does have one eye because she's the daughter of the Cyclops. And that's like her whole theme. So this character was a background character and people voted. I'm pretty sure they voted and she got turned into a doll. Pretty sure it was between her, Headless Headmistress, and Widona. They did make a second one of her that was more accessible and they made her into an I Love Fashion doll. Like I said in my last video with Widona, they would do that in order for people to be able to still get these new characters. Her earrings are safety pin earrings. I love her lips. She has little freckles. I love her one ginormous big eye. She Her hair is like different mixtures of green. She has little bangs and then she has little twist braids. I love her vest. So cute. And pleather up top. Then her dress. Long sleeve with like a belt. And then it has like a skirt part to it. She does have leggings as well. Bracelets. An eye purse. And lastly, eye shoes. Look at these. So this is her boyfriend, Mr. Manny Tar. This doll's humongous, y'all. This is a regular Monster High, and this is how she stands next to him. And for a comparison, because the boys were taller, this was a regular boy, and this is Manny. He's the son of the Minotaur. Here is Manny. The sculpting of this doll is incredible. He does have plastic hair, but I think to get the sculpt perfect, they needed to do it. So it's understandable. So he has, of course, that very Minotaur look. He does have a piercing, which is in gold. I love his face. I love the horns. Love the blonde hair. So he was the bully of the school. He was like a jock and he was always mean and rude to all the characters. Always bullying Jackson, that's for sure. And I did I like him. I liked him once he got with Iris because he did become like nicer, but he was a bully but I still wanted him as a character. So Minotaurs have a thing. They're, when they see red, they go crazy. So it's funny that they put him in red and Minotaurs always have a labyrinth associated with them. So he does have a maze on his shirt. He did come with this backpack, which if you look closer at the backpack, it's a maze. And of course it has a red maze on there as well. I love this backpack. These pants are so nice and very well detailed. They look like jeans. They look like jeans. Mine did break because I kept putting his hand through it. I'm sorry, Manny. It does have actual pockets as well. Like you could put his hand in there. His body, he's built. He is built. He. This is definitely a new body, but he does have the same body as Hezekiah, which y'all will see later into these this Monster Eye series. That would be the grand finale, sneak peek. Lastly, these are his shoes, which are like Timberland boots. Incredible. You thought the details stopped there? The bottom of his shoes, he has a maze. Of course. Always look at the bottom of the Monster High shoes. They like putting little details and secrets in there. All right, y'all, that was it for Manny. This episode was loaded hid with characters that are absolutely incredible and it's so hard to pick favorites but you know i'm gonna do it anyway but first let me know in the comments which character was your favorite or characters my favorites definitely have to be Mercedes, marisol batsy and ac definitely all of those are my faves but everyone else i still adore it's so different so unique not two of these characters look identical because that's what Monster High did. Made them all unique and special and that's what I love about Monster High. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload my next video. I will see y'all next Friday and have an excellent day. Bye!